Hello and welcome to Design Education Talks, the collaboration between the team here of the New Art School and Design the Ducks podcast. Our guest today is Odid Ezer. Welcome, Odid. Hi, Lefteris. Thank you for having me here. Oh, it's fantastic to have you here. Fantastic. Welcome. Tell us about you and your work. Well, that's a, a very general question. I will try to answer it in a very a short way. Fantastic path so far in, 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 in design, and we'd be very interested to know about your, about your path so far. Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm an Israeli designer. I sit in Giva Time, which is a very small city next to Tel Aviv. Uh, I was a student uh, in the Bezalel Academy in Jerusalem. And I'm dealing mainly with typography. What I'm doing is always around letters, um, starting from uh, commercial uh, stuff that I'm doing for clients, um, designing typefaces. Uh, mainly Hebrew typefaces, but also uh, Latin and Arabic. I'm also doing uh, a lot of experimental stuff. Uh, that means um, all kinds of projects that I just invent to myself. Uh, and in this way, I'm trying to uh, interest myself uh, in between uh, commercial works that uh, sometimes... They are not so interesting, sometimes they are, but in this way, I feel like um, uh, I, I have a full uh, world of, uh, of thinking and designing and dealing not only with what happens outside, but also with what happens inside my head. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fantastic. And you're, you've been doing some interesting projects on, on uh, medi medical-related medical, medical related projects lately? So one of my latest uh, projects, which is uh, an experimental one, is the veining uh, project, which is uh, a new way of having an underskin tattoo. Uh, what I'm, I've invented there is, is a methodology where the, you can go into an operation, they open your arm, and they implant a 3D uh, printed artificial vein. Uh, and they, uh, the doctors uh, connect it with your real veins in, in, in a way that uh, the blood is, is keeping going through. But this time, it goes through uh, an actual word. And after you, uh, you heal, you can inject uh, some kind of, uh, of uh, uh, liquid mm -hmm. and to turn yourself into a living sign. So... That, this is a, a, an example of, of, of what I do when, when I want to, to escape from the banality. Uh, it is a, a, a project that uh, came after uh, projects like uh, Typosperma, which, uh, in which I, uh, I have implanted a, a typographic DNA inside uh, human sperm and, uh, and so on. Um, uh, but... Uh, uh, Usually my everyday life is uh, being uh, uh, constructed from uh, type design uh, uh, for clients and also for my uh, colleagues um, and also um, mm, all sorts of, of uh, commercial stuff uh, like uh, uh, branding and uh, books and uh, so on. But tell us about your, your, what are you working on right now, your latest, your latest stuff? I, I've just finished uh, this uh, uh, small and very nice uh, booklet uh, for, uh, uh, for a uh, uh, Los Angeles uh, uh, yeah. customer. Uh, and uh, this, this is a, a, a book about, uh, uh, about the, the, the center's beliefs and, and, and it's, it's really nice. It incorporates uh, Hebrew and English together uh, in a very nice way. Uh, the, the type on the, on the cover is my own type uh, designed based on a 13th century manuscript. Uh, so in this way, I managed to connect uh, uh, myself with the history of, uh, of Hebrew uh, 
design. Uh, and for me, it's, uh, I mean, for me, it's, it's the highest way of designing to have a conversation with, uh, with former uh, uh, designers from, uh, uh, in this case, from 1,000 years ago. So this has been a, a great focus of your work, sort of this, this conversation. Yeah, uh, usually uh, I, I like uh, going back and I like going forth. Uh, it means that my conversation is not limited only to, uh, to real conversations like we have together now, but I can invent myself uh, talking with uh, uh, not existing uh, designers and also future designers. Mm -hmm. And in this way, I think I manage to uh, go out of my own habits, go out of my own uh, 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 brains and comfort zone and, uh, and find ways to enrich uh, and reach the language, the visual language, with which we, we we all deal with. Yes, this was one of your also your, of your first projects uh, about the, 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 the typefaces. So how how tell us how this started this this interest? Uh, what well, uh, you mean the experimental part or <laughs> everything between between old lettering and new lettering? Which which tell us tell us the story of, about about that. Well, uh, I think that I think that. Uh, it is, it is my way. You see, I, I didn't start as a designer. I started as a musician. Mm -hmm. And when you play music, yes. you are not limited to what happened only now. You, you can, you can uh, play uh, a piece of, of, of work uh, that Mozart did. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is uh, absolutely okay to, to give a new interpretation to old uh, a piece of art. Uh, so in this way, I think that I learned what I'm doing now. I learned from music. Yes. Uh, musicians are very, very fluent in moving uh, through uh, periods and uh, and uh, through uh, genres. Mm -hmm. And so, so in this way, I think that we we don't have to be limited. Uh, uh, take into consideration that uh, the Hebrew. Uh, writing system existing uh, more than 3,000 years. So in, in, in this way, uh, we can be uh, kind of uh, time travelers, uh, going back in time, having some conversation with uh, very good designers, and, and then going back to our time and try to, uh, to use the knowledge uh, for, uh, for the current uh, problems to solve current problems or you can uh, uh, imagine yourself going uh, 100 years from now and asking yourself how typography will look like in 100 years from now and I find it a very refreshing question because it liberates you from the uh, banality of every everyday life and you can uh, and you can come up with the solutions that otherwise I would find it very hard to come with. Yes, yes. yes. What instrument did you play? Well, I used to play uh, guitar, but uh, I didn't like to practice. So, uh, and I did like to practice on design. So I moved to, to the visual. Exactly. Uh, I was a violinist and for, for more than 10 years. And I right. switched to design at, at, at 17, yeah. So yeah, it's a, so you you will absolutely uh, agree with me really uh, that 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 design has certain aspects that are just like music, like rhythm, and like uh, hierarchy, and like building uh, a, a whole uh, paragraph, like from uh, uh, from single elements, of right? Also, also skill and discipline, and sort of very, very there are many many parallels. And actually, music is uh, not so forgiving. Design can be more forgiving sometimes than music. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Fantastic. So tell us about your, your path into teaching. How did you start teaching? Well, I finished uh, the academy uh, when I was 28. Mm. Uh, it, was, uh, it was 98, 1998. 
And uh, I had, right after we graduated, I had one friend that uh, really wanted to teach, but she was afraid to teach on her own. So she asked me whether I would like to come with her and to teach with her. So we both went uh, to, uh, to a local school uh, and, uh, and, and we, we were hired. Uh, she, she went uh, out after one semester and I just uh, continued. Uh, but it was, that was the start because otherwise I, I wouldn't think that I'm, I'm, I'm qualified to, to, to teach, you know. But uh, it, it was a, a success from the, right from the start. I think that I had, I didn't know how much I had it in me. Mm. Uh, so I started in that school uh, and, and right after the, the school merged into Shankar College of Art here in, in, uh, in uh, Ramat Gan. So that was my start. Later on, I taught at uh, the Haifa College and uh, in Betzalel uh, Academy where I, I was a student. Uh, and finally, I was asked by the uh, uh, Holon Institute of Technology to join their uh, regular staff. So it was a great uh, achievement then. Uh, I became a senior uh, 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 teacher, senior lecturer. And, uh, and since then I teach there. So all in all, I teach uh, uh, some like 20 years already. Fantastic, fantastic. So, that, that, so how, how have things changed? How, how has education changed in those 20 years? Well, I think that uh, educa design education had, had changed dramatically in the last 20, 25 years. Um, I remember uh, my teachers as uh, very um, hard, even aggressive uh, people, and, and the methodology was uh, uh, this kind of a shock uh, methodology that you come in and nobody tells you anything, you just get the uh, brief, you don't know how to do it, and you go back to your uh, home, you try your best, you go back to the uh, school, and, and uh, of course they say you're, you're doing it uh, uh, not right. So that was the way that I was taught um, in the 90s. Uh, right now, uh, well, you don't do it anymore. Uh, you teach in a, in, a, in, a, in a completely different environment. Uh, I think I teach in a different, completely different way. Uh, I, I explain everything. I explain everything and I go step by step uh, in order to make, uh, make very clear uh, what is uh, expected of the student. I think in this way we uh, the students can can concentrate on the uh, on the creation itself, and with with the less uh, uh, should I call it a psychological problems behind the process. Yeah. Uh, so so I think this is one of the aspects that. Uh, 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 changed completely and I think this is for the for the best. Mm -hmm. um, also, also uh, what we expect of the students have dramatically changed. I think that uh, a student in, in these days uh, is expected to uh, not only to design, but to create films, uh, to, uh, to think about the uh, audio as, as well, uh, to think about the audience in a in a very complicated way, and to do a lot of of, of technical work uh, around uh, his or her uh, um, uh, projects uh, and assignments. Mm -hmm. uh, in this, in this, uh, what I'm saying is that uh, uh, I think that my my role, uh, as opposed to my teacher's role. Uh, change, changed from uh, just, um, uh, sh shall I say, uh, uh, changed in, in this sense that I have to transfer 
uh, a very wide and a very deep understanding mm. of the process in order to help uh, the students uh, cope with a range of, of activities that they have to do. So in this way, it, it, everything became more complex and uh and uh and maybe maybe we can just say that this is a completely different environment uh for teachers and for the students to understand design that was excellent that's excellent yes and uh what do you think the 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 skills play a role is there is there still time to cultivate skills well, I think that the, 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 the students come into the school with a certain knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, again, this is a, a change from my time as a student because when we went into the school, we knew nothing. But uh, my students, uh, uh, even in the first year, they already know how to operate a lot of, of technical stuff and, and understand uh, uh, a lot of stuff that we didn't understand, but they lack the methodology. They lack the way, the the deep way that uh, a real designer should think uh, in. So, so what I'm actually saying is that uh, my role, as I see it, is to give example to young people uh, an alternative to what I call the flood of information. Uh, because, you know, the first uh, reaction of a student when you give him or her an assignment is to go to, uh, uh, to find references in Instagram and, and things like that. Uh, and this is something that they don't know it, but it, it stops them from really thinking and 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 this is a uh, this is a kind of a, a sign of our time uh, they don't give themselves uh, um, the permission to uh, to really stop everything and to uh, try to understand what they really want and what what they really want to bring to the world and in this sense, I feel that I have a lot of influence on my students because they find a, a kind of a door to the inside, you see? And this is, uh, this is something that is absolutely necessary in our profession because otherwise you're just a follower. And I don't want to raise followers, you know? I want to raise people who think for themselves and I want uh, to be taught as well yes. as as a creative myself. So in this in this way, I think that um, uh, they can have both. They can have the benefits of our times, which are mainly technical, and also the benefit of this way of thinking that you can uh, invent the new world that you would like to live in. Brilliant. How can we help students create more ideas-based work rather than appearance-based work? I think it is uh, allowing them to get lost. Mm. Because one thing that uh, the internet did is to fill every gap, fill every, every empty space that we had before with noise. And one of the most uh, important things in creating in general is to be bored. Because only when you are bored, you start, you, you are restless and you have to find solutions and you have to find uh, new ways to get out of this situation. And this is creating. This is absolutely the, the core of creating. I mean, uh, it is not about being a student, it is being a creative. I think it happens all the time. It happens to me all the time because 
if you create, if you really create new things, you can't be always there. You can't be always creative. So uh, embracing these gaps and these uh, failures and things like that, this, this, this is something that uh, you have to give per permission to yourself. And unfortunately, uh, the world as we know it now, they don't give you any chance to relax, to, to step back, to, to give up, you know. So I think that in this sense, uh, if I can help a bit to create this such an environment for my students uh, and for myself as a creative, because I don't see any difference between the things. Uh, uh, this is very valuable, valuable. Really, no, really, really, really good, really good. Thank you. How can we help uh, current students, graduates, uh, have a smoother transition in, into employment? Well, I think they, they already do it right. I mean, uh, I live in Israel. Uh, it's, uh, it's a wonderful country to be a graduate of graphic design, I, I can tell you, because all the high-tech industry is starving mm -hmm. Uh, for good designers, you know, so uh, the, they, they, they really, uh, uh, it's very easy to find a very good job here if you are good. Uh, so in, in this sense, I think that they, uh, they manage quite well. Did, did I understand your question? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 of course, of course, of course. Okay, so, so what, I'm, what I'm saying is that uh, I don't see currently in my country hopefully uh, it will uh, go on like that i don't see any problem for young graduate uh, to be accepted to a company uh, or to a design studio um, especially if they if they are good mm, 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 mm. Oh, on the point of education because we, we missed it before if you could if you could do anything at all uh, in education, we had a magic wand. Would you? What would you do? What would you do differently? Well, I'm I'm quite. Um, uh, uh, well, I have a kind of a, a not not so a mainstream idea about this uh, uh, academic aspect, and and we talked about it before. Uh, that in, it feels like the academic environment is not the, the, the best solution for design education. Academic uh, education is concentrated on, on uh, repeating things that happened before, while uh, uh, in, in design education, you would like to teach uh, way of thinking and way of 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 going out of the box. So, uh, in this sense, I I have a, a a not very usual solution. I would like to go back to the times where a young uh, creator, designer, or artist go to uh, to a master's studios and work there. So I think that the whole academic stuff is, is not very important in this sense. Uh, if I could create a new world for young people who wants to educate themselves on design, I would just tell them, go out and, and just clean the floor of, of, of a practitioner, of, of someone who's a great master, and, and just, uh, just listen. Just listen. Just look and 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 try uh, try to fit in. I think that this is uh, something which is uh, more suitable for our profession. Mm. Uh, I think that uh, it did well to Michelangelo and uh, Leonardo da Vinci. So uh, why not uh, now? But uh, you know, I live in my time, and I know that the. Uh, the mothers and the fathers, and especially Jewish mothers, uh, they would love to have the uh, certificate, you know, right. and 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 to say that their uh, 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 daughters and and sons are uh, educated in a proper uh, academy. So who am I to stop that? 
That's absolutely brilliant. How can our viewers and listeners best find you? Well, it's very easy to find me. I'm all over. <laughs> uh, I have my, uh, uh, of course, my website, which is uh, odedeza.com. And I have, uh, I have Instagram account and uh, Facebook account. So it's, uh, and, and, and they can feel free to write me. I love getting emails from all over the world. And right now I, I'm in a phase which I really, really love to cooperate with other designers, other practitioners. And uh, um, so especially in these times when you uh, practically can't fly anywhere, so I think it's, it's so important to stay in contact and uh, this, is, uh, this is wonderful. So uh, yeah, just write me and I will answer. Fantastic. Fantastic. And any, any last piece of advice you'd like to leave us with? Um, to whom? To the students, to the teachers, to yeah. the practitioners, to, to... Everyone, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, to those people or yeah, or whoever. Well, I think, I think that uh, the best thing is to, and, and this is a, 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 a cliche, of course, but to, to find out about yourself, about your needs. I mean, each one of us, we are different. And if I give an advice, I don't assume that it's, it's good for you. I think the only advice that it's, it's, it's good for every one of us is to pay attention to what your inside uh, real needs are. And, and this takes time. And uh, so, so maybe the advice is give yourself some time to find uh, what really, really interests you uh, today without fear, without any, uh, uh, any um, hesitation. So, and, and, and after you give yourself, yourself this time to find out, everything is much easier because you are ready to sacrifice time and hard work and everything. So I assume this is my advice. Brilliant, brilliant. Thank you so much, Odette, for your time. It was fantastic. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. It was really nice talking to you.